I think motorcycling and tattooing is just goes in hand in hand like punk rock. There's a freedom in both. Put your own personality and your own style into something so permanent. But a lot of the symbolism comes from people's ideas, you know, working with them as far as, because 90% of what I do is custom stuff, so like that lemur tattoo I did, that meant something to her and I just, you know, tried to make it weird in my style. That was the first one I did on myself. It was like a Thunderbird. When I got into doing it, it was with an old biker dude in Dayton, Ohio. All the guys around there were just like easy rider style. I've definitely been more into older choppers. My back is telling me to get some newer ones. No, I don't have a motorcycle. I like bicycles. My friend Eric said that most stuff I do is too cute for a motorcycle helmet and I need to like do something way more badass. So I thought like a naked chick riding a motorcycle would be like more badass than I usually do. I've raced motorcycles for eight or nine years. I know a lot of road racers who are tattooers. When I road race, uh, I had a teammate of mine give me a pair of Hello Kitty panties. And they've become they were my lucky panties. I wear them every time I'm on track. I have for seven years, and they've kept me safe. I hit a turn, it was right, it was like a blind turn. My ass end slides out, and I don't want to hurt my bike at all. I throw my foot down, and it stands the bike up, but in the process snaps my leg, and I'm trying to hit my rear brake with a broken leg that I just can't control. The brake didn't hurt at all. I felt like I was popping a knuckle or something. So I pulled everything together and just held it to where I thought it was supposed to be. My first thought was like, I think my leg's broken. Could you pick my bike up for me? I don't want to hurt my bike at all because I love it. It's like old and it demands respect. I was hit by a deer last year. It's not a racetrack out there. It ran at me from the side. And I say that and people are like, oh, you hit a deer? I'm like, no, a deer hit me. But I looked over to my left and I saw two deer and I was like, ha! Fuck you! And as I came back, two came at me and directly hit me in my hand, flipped over me, and died. It's red mist. So I punch killed the deer, right? Like, with my wolf hand. My slogan from now on is, uh, fuck deer. My idea for the helmet was to uh, paint something that I'd actually wear. I painted three snakes on it. It was just all things that I can attribute to riding and balance and joy and staying alive. I was thinking of doing maybe my route, just some sort of like road map to where the Black Canyon ends and that's where I get shipped home. We came up with a hundred ideas before I finally settled on City of Roses. With the gentrification of Portland, I also kind of wanted to make it dark, so I think I'm gonna throw maybe some spider webs in there. And I kind of thought it was funny, it was all white. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm super excited to see these other helmets. Kind of intimidated, like so a lot of these people are people I look up to. Being a motorcycle racer, like I'm competitive by nature too, so I just want to do my best and make sure it, it stands out on its own. There was another guy around the area I thought was cool. His name was Roy Boy. And he's the tattooer that's got like the Brian Bosworth type of like flat top mullet, you know, and he owned tigers on chains and he'd have videos of him like pumping iron while his old lady is like tattooing some dude's dick in the background.